Hey there friends, Mark here on The Culinary Compass and today I wanted to chat with you briefly about dinner parties and a specific part of dinner parties that I have always enjoyed facilitating, um, which is getting the people who are coming to the dinner party involved in the actual cooking process. Um, not only is it a lot of fun, but sometimes it can actually save me a lot of time, so that's a wonderful thing. Now a couple of weeks ago at the most recent dinner party at Chez Osten, um, we uh, focused the entire dinner party around fennel. Uh, the beautiful uh, smell, the different tastes, the different ways to prepare fennel uh, were all highlighted in a, a six course menu. So there were two separate courses that I got people involved in preparing. Um, one where I had folks really focusing in on plating, which is a lot of fun for folks, you know, getting to play like restaurateur, right? Um, I love uh, kind of the art of the plate, and uh, so it's kind of fun to get people involved in that. And uh, when you're talking about 12 or 14 people in a dinner party, it's very helpful, especially if you want to get something cold or hot right to the table quickly. Now another course where I really needed a lot of help was a homemade ravioli. Um, before folks got there, I had prepared the ravioli dough and I, as well I had the filling ready. Um, and so basically, as you can see from this picture, I, I kind of had a whole assembly line going with some people actually getting the dough um, kind of flattened out for the ravioli itself, uh, some people filling the ravioli. While all of this is going on and through the dinner party, I also assigned one person to uh, go to the freezer on a regular basis and uh, kind of move with a fork the slowly freezing granita that we had, which was kind of a ginger fennel granita. It was amazing. Um, so again, you know, whether it's a group, whether it's plating, whether it's prep, whether it's just giving over a responsibility to one person, any way you can get folks involved, they love it. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share with you that um, you can, of course, save a little bit of time, but the real purpose of getting people involved, of course, is how much fun it is for them and how much fun, of course, you as a chef, as a host, how much fun it is for you to be able to kind of share the process, share the fun with other people. So that's it for the Culinary Compass today. Ciao for now.